Brasil ou não? Não. Wanna say this? No? What's it say? F*** you in Italian. No? Is it? What's yeah. good evening? Yeah. Buona sera. It means good evening in Italian. Buona sera. That's it. That's it. We made it, two flights down. Feels like a long day, but we have made it from Monte Carlo to Venice for Venice Film Festival with Armani. If you guys have been here a long time, you will know how many times we've actually been here with Armani and genuinely, this is the week of the year I look forward to the absolute most. I get to be with a brand that I adore. The fact that they invite me back every year, I'm so honoured and just feel so like part of their team. I'm just so grateful every year. We are back at the San Clemente Palace, the Kempinski. It's one of my favourite hotels. Not anymore. And I just feel like a weight has lifted. It's so nice that we got all the travel out the way and it's like, oh, back in this beautiful place again. Let me show you our beautiful room. Sorry, I've literally just taken my shoes off straight there. Our gorgeous room with a beautiful corner aspect as Steve McGrath would say. Beautiful corner. Some flowers. 81st International Venice Film Festival. We have a candle, the Yulon candle. And then into the bathroom. And again we have some goodies here. I've got the Yulong Eau de Toilette. Don't believe I've tried this. Oh, I feel like this might be Japanese inspired. It's really citrusy. So it's maybe like a little bit of like a lemongrass, a really beautiful Italian lemon sorbet. That's what this is giving me. So that will be my smell. That will be my scent of the trip. Because I only brought one other scent because I had a feeling Armani usually gives us the scent of the trip. So I thought there's no point me bringing my Rouge Malachite. I will wear the, the beautiful fragrance on the trip. So I have this. And then we have some Armani. Armani goodies. Ooh, new mascara. Brilliant. Eyes to kill. Classico. Mascara. The Armani mascaras, if you haven't tried them, are excellent, by the way. They've also given me some of the Prisma glass glosses. Ooh, it's juicy. Juicy, juicy red. These are Armani's newest glosses. Oh, and I've got a clear as well. I wear number seven constantly, which is like their peachy nude shade. It's beautiful, super glassy, glossy lips. God, I can't get enough of these. I've been wearing this the entire week, so that's exciting. This beautiful peachy pink is shade 50.5. I also have 62. Again, I've brought all these with me. I had a feeling I wouldn't need to. They're always so generous with making sure I'm topped up with everything. An eye tint, 27.5, it's a beautiful rose gold. In fact, this will look perfect with my dress that I'm wearing tomorrow, red carpet tomorrow. I have an incredible Armani dress. And then I have 18M, which looks like the perfect, oh my God, that's amazing. I don't have that yet, I don't think. The perfect base eyeshadow shade matte, like bronzer on the eye shade which couldn't be any better for me. The team are meeting at 8 p.m. at the dock of the re of the hotel to have dinner, like a welcome dinner. I can't wait to see all the Armani team. I just love all the girls so much. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get myself a quick shower, freshen up a little bit, and then head down for dinner. Sorry, I was gonna leave it there, and then I noticed one final gift on the bed, and it includes, which is really exciting, I haven't tried this yet, the new, Armani C Passione Intense Parfum. I haven't tried it yet. Alex, just hold this a sec for me. Thank you. And they've given me the refill for it. This is amazing, I'll be honest. My favorite C is the Eau de Parfum. I want to say Intense. It's, it's the deeper gold, more like syrupy flavor. It is exceptional. It's in my top 10. In fact, I need to do a top 10 soon. Passioni has always been a little bit more kind of florally and not as much my favorite, but this is the first time I've tried this and it is stunning. It's so much richer. Like, you can tell it's an intense fragrance. It's just got this, it does have that more syrupy undertone, like a real richness. It's definitely got some vanilla, but it's got the florals. Oh, what's that? Oh, I almost feel like it's maybe like a raspberry or a blackberry or there's something fruity in there. The Passioni has never been my favourite of the line, but this is, um, this is amazing. Oh, this must be for this. Oh, for Passioni. So maybe Passioni 
Maybe this is the scent of the trip. And maybe Yulong is for you. So this is for me, and Yulong is for you. Because you love more citruses, don't you? Whereas I love the fruity, floral, amber. Amber! Amber. Yeah. Wow, I love that. I forgot my vlog camera just for this evening. Sorry, guys. Just a quick check-in. We're on our way down to dinner. Quickly got them ready. I might regret wearing this thick shirt soon. But I really, really wanted to wear it's this outfit. Edible, isn't it? it it's so cool. It looks like one piece, actually. It looks like one piece. I know, it's a shirt. Looked into a pair of matching shorts. Little Armani bag. These, the cuffs on the shirt, the best thing about it, it's super long and it covers the hands. It's amazing, like oversized. So I'm like not wearing a bra. I've gone for like open look. And then my YSL belt and YSL heels. I think we go down here as well. Elevators, this way. This place is so enormous. It's huge. I'm gonna do a really quick check-in before I forget to. We've got a really gorgeous meal tonight and then we'll have like a nice early night and then tomorrow hit the ground running before the red carpet. I'm really excited. Hi. I have never felt so prepared and organised on a red carpet day, ever, ever. Of all the red carpets I've done, of which I've been very lucky to do a number, never been this prepped. I feel so good. Let me show you. I've fully lotioned. I've redone my toenails. I've washed and dried my hair. I have already spent time to do my brows because I hate doing my brows and it takes me ages. So now they're done. They're ready. They're prepped into the bathroom. Into the bathroom. I have all of my Armani bits already laid out for me. I can see the colours quickly, I can pick the colours quickly. Obviously I've got a few of the little bits of me to top up my makeup for the days. I've also got all my eye tints. I could do with bringing my eye tints over here actually, just so I can fully see them too. It's just nice to have everything out, everything open so I can see everything. So that's all ready. These by the way, these are the brand new Armani Luminous Silk Aqua Highlighter. They're like a shimmery, glowy highlighter. This one is three, which is more rose gold. This one is two, which is more of a pure gold. See them more in better light there. So I can't wait to wear those. I think tonight I'm gonna go for, so my dress is like silvery. I mean, I was thinking something like this, but actually I'm not sure if that's gonna be too rich for this silver. But I think anything metallic-y will work. Then, I've also cleaned all of my brushes. They'll be perfect for applying makeup and it's not gonna look bad. I also tanned last night, so tan is on point. Oh, yeah, I just feel really good. I've also just tidied the whole room. Alex has gone for some lunch because I just wanted to get a few things done. I wanted to get myself prepped. So I was like, baby, you go for lunch. I've got some bits actually in the fridge that I'm gonna snack on. And then in a minute, I have a hairdresser coming around to do my hair for the day. So my hair will be done for the night early. And then it just means I'm prepped, I'm ready, and I can do all of my TikToks, all my Instagrams, everything without feeling stressed or worried or like I'm running out of time. So I've even gone to the lengths of kind of everything here ready as well to take out later. I've got a fan, I've got chewing gums. I've got this little tiny C Passione, which is perfect. I've also got my number seven. I'm gonna take that, I know I'm gonna take that with me. And I likely will take a pair of Sunnies as well, I'm not too sure. Oh, in fact, I also need to take these for sure so I can watch the film. The film we're watching, I think it's called Baby Girl with Nicole Kidman. I have watched some seriously incredible films at this film festival, so it's like a massive highlight for us to go in and actually watch the film and be amongst the actors. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So yeah, I feel great. I feel really prepped, feel really happy. I also need to wait on my Bulgari jewellery. I have Bulgari jewellery arriving for the evening. It's all gonna be go-go, but at least I know I'm fully ready to rock after this. Hair is in and snatched. Honestly, she's done a beautiful job of this. I don't often go for this kind of hair, but I absolutely love it. I just wanted something that was really like a face job. Face job? Is that what it's called? Facelift. I wanted a facelift in a hairstyle. So yeah, she's just done this beautiful, super straight, tight pony. And it's not moving. The amount of stuff that's on this, it's not moving. So perfect for red carpet, nothing in my face, out my face. Just all about the eye makeup and just like, whew. 
Anyway, I'm about to go to the masterclass. We're having a masterclass. The new makeup director, I believe, of Armani Beauty. So I need to head over there now. Hi, Devam Hilami. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this coverage is really good for no makeup, makeup room. But we are at the Ben's Film Festival today, so I'm going to make a uh, complexion lip in order to do this. Good tip is that uh, work quick. It's very fast set your products, so you have to work really quick. And also, you can mix two or three different shades to create your own shade. Let's get ready for the red carpet. I'm not going to be stressed. I just want to keep this really light, like really lightweight. In the past, on red carpets, I feel like I've worn a little bit too much. And then later, it has looked, it's looked great. I wish I'd worn a little less because I technically don't really need to wear too much anyway. My skin right now is looking really, really lovely, so I shouldn't need to feel like I have to cover lots up, but I'm trying to get out of that habit that I think a lot of us got into over like the, the 2020s of really like putting too much on and like covering up. So I'm just trying to get out of that habit and just being really quite lightweight with it. Like, like a veil rather than a mask really over the skin. Luminous Silk, this is shade five. It's usually worked quite well for me, actually. I'm using this Rafia brush again, and I really love it. It's super soft, so it just literally veils everything on, which is just beautiful. Adding over the ears, because I don't want them to not match. A little more in this one area. Okay, I think that looks good. Really glowy and lovely. Concealer, I have two. Honestly, I kind of wish I'd brought a slightly darker shade, but I'm gonna try and make it work. This is 42. <laughs> 27.5. Applying the Aqua Highlighter in three. We add a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's like a beautiful glow. Cheek's gonna be a mixture of these two colours, 62 and 50.5. So by the way, I'm also filming here. Final step, I'm gonna do 109 and 102 to the center. Okay, I think I'm done. We're both red carpet ready. Husband looks absolutely gorge. We're on our way, oh my God. Bulgari arrived literally in the nick of time with my beautiful earrings. Yeah, it's over here and then down the lift. Oh gosh, I am frantic. <laughs> We're inside waiting for the film. So we're gonna be watching a film called Baby Girl. Nicole is walking in now, let me show you. everyone first of all it's our five year anniversary but, today do you know what i realized as well it's like 18 years <laughs> since we first met each other is it really 18 years gosh is it yeah, yeah we were 16. Wow. we were 16. that's so crazy we wow. are getting old that, does that mean we've known each other longer 
then we haven't known each other. Almost, almost. Is it? Yeah, so I'm only 35. So. Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, it does. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, probably two years ago. Oh my god, well. it does. That yeah. does. Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Sorry. It's, not, I'm, it's too early for my <laughs> let me, brain. Let me do the math. Let me do the math. <laughs> and this. I and I'm round. Right. Yeah, no. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. So it's our five year anniversary. We're heading down for breakfast. I think most people will still be in bed. Mm -hmm. We got in quite late last night. I had to have my bulgur jewellery picked up and he arrived about quarter past twelve, midnight. I had to wait up for that. And then we could go to bed after that. We end up staying up on our phones until like half one. Anyway, I want to tell you about the film we watched because it was brilliant. Someone just stole Alex's toast out of the toaster. It's really vexed about it. He's not happy. The film was unreal, so it's called Baby Girl. Nicole Kidman, Antonio Banderas. One of the main guys in it was brilliant. I've never seen him before. Young guy, really attractive. Gets, he certainly gets more attractive during the film. Let's just say, it was technically, wasn't it called an erotic, erotic thriller? It was, I, yeah, it, God, it was. it was. It was certainly erotic. It was, it was more erotic than a thriller. It was almost soft porn, really. Obviously, it's along the lines of Fifty Shades of Grey, but not so fantasised, more a realistic, erotic kind of thriller, I guess, erotic drama. Nicole Kidman becomes a little bit enticed by someone else. You see it all play out. It starts with a sex scene, it ends with a sex scene, and I would say 85% of the scenes were sex-related scenes. I think this film is going to blow people away and people are going to be obsessed with it in the way they were with Fifty Shades of Grey. A lot of women enjoy a good sexy film. That was a very, very sexy film, but very well done. Men I like sexy films too, just different types. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the director a woman? Wasn't she the, the director on the end, the lady? Which would make sense because I feel like it was made for women's fantasies. It's more of a women's fantasy movie, but without it being too fantasised, like it was more real. It, it could happen, technically. It could maybe happen. So it was, it was fantastic. I loved it. Like I said, the guy just got hotter and hotter through this film. Keep it in your pants. But the acting was brilliant. The cinematography was brilliant. Like it was so in, like gripping the whole way through. Absolutely loved it. It was really great. But yeah, it's called Baby Girl. And ladies, you're gonna love it. A little bit of breakfast, avocado, some blushed tomato, egg, a little bit of cheese. And then my second course is a huge bowl of fruit and granola, coffee, and my husband of five years. Five years. Oh, I wanted to do this, but I've got a, got a macadamia in my hand. Oops, not anymore. Five years. Right, ready to go. I'm in this gorgeous Emporio Armani white jumpsuit. I had this tailored. I mean, it's one of those I'm going to have to keep pulling up all day, but I think it'll be worth it because I, I love it. Right. Gotta go. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Mm -mm. It is Scorchio. Scorchio today. Woo! So it must be 30, 32, 33, 34. Right, it's a... Uh, it's claustrophobic. Oh, um, yeah. Then. Look at this breakfast... Uh, breakfast. Lunch spot. We're at Hotel Danielli. And wow, this is unreal. Hawaza. <laughs> I can't do any. Then it gets too Thank you so much. Gosh, that is a good looking burrata. Mm. And back to the boat. Hi, guys. In a rush, as ever. Just getting ready for the evening. We've been back for a few hours editing, doing different things. I'm just getting ready. Oh. MG. Brand new Bulgari collection. I have some seriously insane pieces here. I have this incredible watch, as well as two of the bracelets to go with this. Oh my gosh. Serpenty ring. Heels. I have these gorgeous, like, copper tones. Okay, I love these. It's just nice not going for black. And so I also have a matching rose gold bag. I've spent five minutes trying to find my perfume. I can't find it, but I do have a little tiny version of the new C Passione, and I need to take this with me anyway. So tonight's lip colour is the Luminous Silk Cheap Tint. I love that colour. The Prisma Glass Gloss over top. Okay, let's go. Passione! Okay, we have arrived. Sorry, that was all such a mad rush earlier. I didn't really get to show you. I'll show you a little bit of the inside of the event. I'm just gonna go across and do um, get some pictures. Good 
good morning. Very quick update on where we're at. Uh, we're currently. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, I hit it before, I've already pissed it off and now I'm scared it's going to come back and get me. There's a quick wasp meltdown. I didn't get to update you on last night, so we went out to the Armani party, had an absolutely gorgeous time. I overheated and got a little bit too hot and almost fainted, but luckily Rahi got me some water and got me onto a boat. So, went home, had a lovely sleep and now we found ourselves in Sips Club. We're at Hotel Cipriani at their outdoor like restaurant bar and look how stunning this is. Oh my gosh, like there's literally St. Mark's Square is like there. Absolutely amazing, I've never been here before. So this is our final lunch on the trip. So we're here for lunch and then heading back to the hotel later. But first course, little Carpaccio moment. Whole gang's here. After a delicious lunch, we're on our way back now, San Clemente. On my way home, well, I'm on my way to the next trip. Everybody. My worst fears came true today. Okay, not my biggest fears ever, but my fears earlier. I've been anxious all day because I had this flight. I've had a connecting flight from Venice to Nice. I'm now in Cannes with Clay de Poe. Felt anxious all day about the fact that I had a connecting flight to get here. I've flown Venice to Zurich, Zurich to Nice. And I had a really bad feeling about the short connection time of this flight. Lo and behold, my baggage didn't arrive. I think we landed at midnight. So we got to the airport. The airport was a ghost town. Is there anyone alive out there? No one there. Ours was obviously the last flight in. There's probably 20 of us stood around waiting for bags. The bags come out. I was manifesting it. They shut the little door to where the bags come out and I was like, oh my God, my bag isn't here. Yeah, and strangely enough, this has never happened before. In the, the 12 years that I've traveled, with how much I've travelled, this has actually never happened. I can't believe that, I and mean, I'm so thankful for that. But yeah, just absolutely gutting, because now I have nothing to wear for this trip. So I'm just staying positive and hopeful because another lady on the trip is doing the exact same flight trip tomorrow from Venice to Zurich, Zurich to Nice, as I have just done. So she is going to be on the flight that technically my bag should just be on. Like I'm praying that they'll just put my bag on the next flight out, like that is, that would make sense, wouldn't it? So she is gonna have a look at the baggage carousel when it all comes through, like it, hopefully she'll be able to have a look at the baggage reclaim. I've sent, I've sent her a picture of the baggage and hopefully it comes out with her baggage. as like the next flight out. Guys, pray for me here, pray for me because I've got, why, well, I've got all my, I've got loads of YSL in there. I've got all of my Armani outfits, my Armani samples that I've just worn for Venice. I've got all of my clothes that I've just worn on the boat trip, all of my makeup, all of my skincare. Oh, thankfully none of my valuables, I like, thank God. I always carry valuables for this reason. But equally, my YSLs are technically valuables because of the amount of money that they cost, I suppose. So, like I say, I was anxious all day. I had a bad feeling, I had a really bad feeling. And so, I packed a few things in my hand luggage that I, n I would never usually do, but I, I've packed a cleanser, and I've packed a lip balm, um, so I can wear a lip balm to bed, I can cleanse my skin, and I, this is what, I packed this because it's powder, so I thought that's perfect. And I'm sure I packed an eye cream as well, because you know how I feel about eye cream. But I don't know where that is. Found it. Yes, thank God. So I can cleanse my skin, I can put on some eye cream and I can put on some lip balm. Obviously I have no serum, I have no moisturiser, but that's all I can do. And I also packed my PJs. I'm really thankful to my former self. The one thing I'm annoyed at though, is that usually I have air tags in all of my cases and just happen to have taken them out recently. Don't know why. And then earlier I said to Alex, oh, do you have an air tag? And he just happened to have one, gave it to me, and then I've forgotten to put it in the suitcase. Like, I could, honestly, I could kick myself now. I could kick myself because right now I could, I could know where that bag is and I don't now. So I'm just, yeah. Atlas is just gutting. It's really gutting. I've been so excited for this trip. The one other thing that I packed as well is gym kit. If I don't have anything tomorrow to be able to do anything with, I at least want to be able to go to the gym. So in that case, I have this dress 
that it's gonna look a mess by tomorrow, but nothing I can do. I've got this dress, I've got pyjamas, and I've got gym kit. Oh, and I have been bitten everywhere. I've been bitten everywhere. Anyway, so let's, um, I'm gonna just have to melt this mascara off my face with some warm water. Cleanse. And then I'm gonna get to bed and then I'll let you know how I get on tomorrow. Hopefully with some good news. Okay. Bye. Oh gosh. Good morning, everybody. What a nightmare. Absolutely gutted. Still in praying mode that my bag turns up today. But in the meantime, I have just rang down to concierge. They're going to wash the dress that I arrived in yesterday, the white one. At least I'll have something to wear if the worst happens. I packed gym wear, but I didn't pack my gym shoes. So I'm gonna have to work out in a mez or around sandals <laughs> and gym kit. And then I luckily, luckily packed this from the plane. Honestly, like I'm so thankful to my brain for being like, oh, you might need a jumper because you might be cold on the plane, check. You might need your gym kit just in case you lose it because you'll want to work out, check. And you'll want your pyjamas because you want to be comfortable. But yeah, nothing else could have fit in that case. <laughs> of course, I have no makeup, apart from what I literally have right here in my, in my little travel things, which is a Valentino lipstick and a little ABH, my muted mauve. Let's put on some C Passione, thank goodness I have that. And I also do have my missing person as well. So at least I have a little bit of perfume. But oh my gosh, bless Amelia. Amelia literally is bringing me clothing to wear. I just went on the phone to her and she's like, oh, maybe you'd like to wear this little YSL jumpsuit and maybe you'd like to wear this. And I'm honestly like, oh, I don't want to get upset about it, but some people are just absolute angels. Like, what a beautiful thing to do. Like, cause if this doesn't turn up, I'm literally gonna have nothing to wear for this whole trip. I mean, luckily I've got accessories and jewelry and I'm sure that Clay Depot will be able to sort out skincare and makeup for me. Obviously they're, <laughs> they're like my favorite skincare and makeup. So that should be fine, but yeah, outfits. And I just feel so bad for the team that I don't, you know, have anything to really shoot and everything. Oh, it's just so typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just gonna go down to breakfast and then go to the gym. They said it'll be four hours until I can get my dress back for cleaning and ironing. But yeah, do you know what though? I feel so grateful actually because last night we took off in Zurich at like 10.30 and it was lashing down with rain. I mean, literally it was almost coming sideways and it was thundering and lightning and the lightning, I've never seen anything like it. Like I could literally see forks that were coming down sideways and hitting the ground near the airport. And I was like, is this safe to fly? And as we were getting up, the turbulence was awful and all I could see was lightning. And genuinely, I thought, I'm on my own here. I'm leaving from an airport I've never flown from on a flight company I've never flown on, and I'm alone. And, <laughs> you know, when you have those little moments with how many planes I take, I don't often get scared, but I genuinely last night felt a little bit unsure. And I just tried to put on some music that I love and tried to just zone out and be like, it's fine, don't worry about it, you're fine. And so when we landed, I actually genuinely was like really grateful. I'm like, thank goodness I made it here in one piece. So actually the bag is the least of my concerns, you know, uh, bigger things happen in the world. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get some breakfast. I'm gonna put more of this on. I just feel really, I just feel really gross. Anyway, okay, see you in a bit. I'm back. Sorry for all the unusual positionings of the camera. I don't have my tripod because it's in my suitcase. So you're resting on a table. I'm gonna have a banana. I'll just finish my workout. I did my usual arms, abs and legs and glutes. And actually, I don't know if I mentioned, we're staying at the Carlton Hotel in Cannes. It's really stunning. In fact, the other day, Susie said, it might be her favorite hotel ever. And I was like, ooh, Susie, that's a big claim. Like, cause we've stayed in some really beautiful hotels together. For example, like Plaza Athenae in Paris or any of those beautiful Parisian hotels are usually like top of the game. And yeah, she, um, she said here, so I was expecting a lot and it is stunning. Down the road is the Martinez Hotel, which is the one that I would always stay for, for Cannes when I used to come with L'Oreal, when I used to be a L'Oreal girl years ago. I would always stay in the Martinez Hotel to walk the Cannes red carpet. If you got a good room in there, it was lovely. If you got a room they hadn't refurbed, it was so old, so pretty awful for the fact that they charged thousands 
per room over Cannes Film Festival. That we're talking thousands per room. And over a couple of nights, like it was crazy, crazy money. Whereas this, honestly, I feel like this is amazing in comparison, like this is, I don't wanna stay here again. The gym was awesome, it had loads of different rooms. One room was just literally for leg and glute machines. So I was in there, I was going between like, a hip thrust machine, never seen that before, to leg abductors and adductors, to leg press, there was a normal leg press and then there was like an underneath leg press where you like lay down. So I've done a full leg workout, my legs are gonna kill me tomorrow, but needs must. And luckily now, I've only got like half an hour to wait before technically my dress should be coming back from the laundry service. It should be soon, so that's pretty great. So I'm just gonna get a shower and do what I can to get ready. And I think actually, I think I just got a text actually. Oh, I've just got a, t a text from Perrine at Clé de Poe. We've dropped a shopping bag for you to our front desk. You can have a little something while waiting. Oh my gosh, that's incredibly lovely. Oh my goodness. I could actually cry a little bit. My face is so dry. I'm not used to not having something. Oh my God, she's put, my <laughs> she's put the Hydra softening lotion in as well. I could genuinely cry right now and she's put in the protective fortifying emulsion. I am so grateful right now, I can't believe it. Oh my God, and she's given me the SPF 50. Literally, if you could have said what three products would you need right now, it would have been these three. The amazing, the super moisturizing softening lotion, incredible fortifying emulsion to go over top is my moisturizer, plus a little bit of SPF, and then an SPF 50 over top also giving me a face enhancer so if I want to have some highlight on then I can. This is unreal. What's this? And the lip balm. I love this brand so much and I love the people that, that work for this brand. I um, feel so lucky right now. Guys I feel like crying a little bit. My dress is back and it's perfect. Perfectly ironed. They've got all of like the makeup out of it. All of the, there's a couple of little like tan stains on it. It's perfect. Why cells? So I can just go for a little saunter. In fact, what I think I might do first is when I've dried my hair and there's a Dyson in the room, like you know a good hotel when they have a Dyson Supersonic in the room. So I'm just gonna blow dry my hair to be as nice and not as frizzy as I can. And then I think I'll just go downstairs in the hotel and go get a latte again and just chill with a latte. I have plaited my hair in my usual style and thrown it back. <laughs> just so at least if my bag doesn't arrive and I have no hot tools, then at least my hair will look hopefully okay. I'm gonna nip down to the hotel bar and get a latte and then I think I might just go for a little stroll. I've come out for a walk and I'm now thinking better of it because the clouds are insane right now. Look at these clouds. This isn't what you want. So I've walked for two minutes up the road. I thought maybe it would help dry my hair to be in the light. But actually now I'm gonna go back. My bag, my bag is here. I actually cried, I actually cried. And yeah, it's arrived, Olivia. Like I said, she was on the same flight that I got yesterday. The Venice to Zurich, Zurich to here. Sadly, her bags haven't been loaded onto the plane. She knows where her bags are at least, so it's not quite as bad as the fact that I had no idea where my bags were. So she's bringing it back to the hotel for me. I am so thankful. Yeah, literally she sent me a picture of my bag and I literally just, <laughs> just burst out crying. It's just like that relief, that ultimate relief. But in future, I will never travel without an air tag again. Okay, case is unpacked. I have even steamed all of the clothes that I intend on wearing for the rest of this trip. And I'm feeling just so much better. Ready for the first night out with Clay de Poe. I'm wearing this beautiful set that I bought at Bista a few weeks ago. Sorry, I can feel, I can feel a hair here. I don't know what it's doing. Um, I did have my hair down because I plaited it like you saw and I love the texture and I did have it down but actually I think it looks kind of nice and chic, tucked back, pulled back like this. Ooh, do you know what I could do with some sunglasses? But sorry. Hi there, let me clean up a bit. Uh, looking back, so I'm going full YSL look, my favourite. My brand new black heels, black clutch, and the blazer and the play suit. I love it. These, by the way, are killers. They look amazing, but I can only do about four or five hours and then I have to take them off because constrict my feet a little. Do you know what? Maybe I'll quickly put on some lotion too. But, sorry, this is it. And then I have applied the lip of the evening, as ever. You guys know. My obsession 
with this lip gloss. Mokara from Chloe de Po. I think it's my number one lip gloss, really. If I want like super gloss, like that super glossy shimmer, it's amazing. I think I'm gonna take my phone out for the rest of the evening instead of filming. This camera is big so that I can get good quality and might not be quite appropriate for the evening. So I'll be on my phone. The queen in action. And this is so beautiful. We're sat just outside the Carlton Hotel all together. This beautiful table of gorgeous ladies. I've seen a lot of fridges. And then Hannah's back. In Hannah, I've had a lot of time together. Wait, that girl. This is such a lovely table. I'm very, very excited about this trip. And this is a very, very good menu. Just the dream walking into this beautiful bedroom. All ready for sleep. Oh. I've had such a wonderful evening, absolutely gorgeous evening. So much great conversation. I've not seen Lorna in so long and in fact I don't even remember the last time we had we sat down and had like a really long like a more in-depth conversation and so I was just really enjoying picking her brain seeing how she's doing. That was just really really nice to catch up so it has been wonderful conversation all evening and my cup is filled now. Absolutely delicious food. And a delicious tuna nissoir salad with some burrata cheese. And ready to get in <laughs> little slippers. Ready to get into my beautiful Dagone Olivia Van Halle pajamas. But yeah, I want to go to the gym in the morning. I've just said to Amelia, 8 a.m. gym. So let's see. I'm gonna try and get into bed pretty quickly. And then 8 a.m. will be absolutely fine. Because it's only like 10 to 11 I think. Get ready, get in bed by midnight and then I can have a good like seven and a half hour sleep, wake up, gym, and then I'm ready for the day. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Another wonderful sleep in this bed. I did get absolutely boiling hot in the night and I have to put the AC back on. Oh, I've had a fantastic time. Bright and early. Me and Amelia go into the gym. I think it's like half past eight. We're gonna go to the gym. I'm in another set of my Adenola, square neck bra, ultimate wrap leggings. I've been working out in my cellar on sneakers because I don't really run or anything like that. I just do weights, abs, arms. So I don't need like amazing trainers on. So yeah, I'm heading down like this. And then we probably will go straight to maybe like a little breakfast straight after it. Face of makeup on, getting ready for a lunch. In fact, I'm getting ready for breakfast, a masterclass and a lunch. So I thought I would wear two piece again, this linen black two piece. Now it was boiling wearing this in Venice. It's not quite, quite as hot here. Not quite. It's maybe four or five degrees less. So hopefully this won't be too bad to wear here because I wore this of the night. I absolutely love this. And when you tuck it in, it just makes it look like a little play suit, which I just love about it. The extra long sleeves. I think I probably showed this in Venice, but yeah, the extra long sleeves are just amazing. I mean, you can wear it untucked, like it just covers up the shorts, which, which is actually really lovely. I kind of love that a bit more open. I might actually leave it open as more of a day look, you know? Oh gosh, my legs. So I'm gonna add the, I'm still gonna add the belt. Because then if I'm, if later on I'm like, oh, I'll tuck it in now, then I've got the belt to pull it all in. And I've put the belt on the wrong way. As soon as I get home, I'm punching like three or four more holes in this belt because it is just not quite small enough. Because I would love to have these shorts here, like that. Sod it, let's corkscrew this bad boy. It's not perfect until I get home. I've managed to get enough of it in that it'll just stick in place, hopefully. Yay, okay. So now that actually does cover a lot nicer. I'm gonna go for the Elias sandals so it's not too dressed down in my Oran sandals. And maybe I could take some Miu Miu so it's just a little contrast colour. Beautiful. The girls are down here somewhere. I'm gonna try and find them now. Bonjour! We have a beautiful table for the ladies. Hello. Amelia oh, just made a massive purchase. You'll have to go to her channel to see what it is, but it's very exciting. Right, back at the room. Very quick changeover needed. We've just been at this lovely beach club having lunch, which was delicious. Had such a lovely catch up with my Amelia. 
I mean, honestly, we could probably talk for an absolute lifetime about stuff. I think I'm going to change outfits just because this has got a little bit creased now because it's been so hot. And you know, it's like when you're in linen and it's hot and it just creases up badly. So I think I actually might change back into my white linen dress. That would be nice. It's nice and light and I'll wear some heels with it. My, my gold Jean Vito's on. I don't really want to wear black. It's fancy wearing a heel. A mosquito bite situation. Ooh. Look at this. Yes, absolutely. In fact, the gym looks over this, doesn't it? The gym is just over there and looks into this. Oh, honestly, Amelia's been making the cutest little comments about my gym routine, about how strong I am with my. how strong she's there going. I was like, ooh, I need that motivation. With my five kilogram tiny weight. It's great. Thank you, babe. The muscles were engaged. I need this hype. I need it. How beautiful. Oh, it's not packaging like it. Oh, stunning, stunning. Oh, oh, oh. Get here, quickly get on a little, a little seat with the gals. Oh my gosh, here it is. Newly reformulated serum. Extra, extra special. Uh, the final experience that is due to a few things. First, the bread was created 40 years ago, 1982, by three Japanese scientists that discovered the way Nixi to skin redness. So for those of you who are not familiar uh, with the serum, it is the number one selling serum in the brand, um, in Take Pobotake globally. So it's really our iconic product in the ritual. It has two main functions for the skin. The first one is to promote what we are calling dynamic skin renewal. And it's very key. And that's Lisa will be giving you all the clues for that and how, and how that affects the overall look of the skin as well. So this is why we are here, brand new reformulated serum. So it looks the same, it smells almost the same, it's just a little bit more lily. Um, but it contains two new scientific breakthroughs to make the formula even more amazing. And the next iconic product that I'm going to use is a primer called the Correcting Cream Veil. This is a very popular primer in Asia. Um, we sell so much of these that it's often sold out. This primer gives a blurring effect to the skin and it prolongs the wear of foundation. It also has SPF 25, which is great to layer SPF 70 or makeup just to build up that coverage. So again, we apply it to the forehead, to the nose, to the cheek, and to the chin, and then we blend it out. I don't think I've got this on. What is amazing? I'm usually blend it out until I feel that the pine is set. So beautiful. Now we're going to move on to the wonderful set. You can apply foundation over it. Product. This is crazy blush. This is blush. I'm obsessed about this. I never use this color, but it's amazing. And you create this beautiful and blurry edge. Oh, guys, forgive me, but oh, TikTok got the get ready with me for this makeup look this evening i'm afraid i'm um, sorry it's so hard to do it over different channels but hopefully you saw it on instagram and or tiktok probably at this point my classic smoky eye vibe and a full face of clay de po using the brand new serum for any of you guys who do already use this i must admit there isn't much difference apart from it is a little more lightweight even more watery than it was before. Barely that much, barely noticeable. And it's slightly more floral. This is the lily, Sli ever so slight. So in honesty, there isn't much difference at all. But now it has those two incredible ingredients within it. First ingredient being the Radiant Lily Concentrate. It's always so nice to hear from Natalie Broussard about all of the incredible innovations of Clay de Peau. Like they really are a science and innovation first brand. That is really what you're paying for, these incredible scientific discoveries and the way that they innovate all of their ingredients and update their formulas to be the absolute best that they can be. So this Radiant Lily Extract, it's all about turning on the skin's intelligence so it's able to defend and repair itself a lot faster, a lot more efficiently, a lot more productively. I've probably mentioned it a lot of times, but Clay de Peau very much is about skin intelligence. It's about, instead of covering and masking your skin, it's about almost teaching your skin how to work as its own brain. And so if it needs to repair, if it needs to enhance itself, if it needs to be more bright, or if there's anything that the skin needs to do to repair itself overall, it's almost like you want to train your skin to be able to do that itself. 
and that's what Clay de Poe is doing. This is very scientific and it's very much based around the idea of cells that grow and repair and create more beautiful skin. And if you give them the right ingredients to be able to do that, that is what Clay de Poe is trying to do. So that's the first ingredient. The second ingredient is lemon myrtle extract. Again, it's about maintaining the skin's defense, maintaining the skin being this really intelligent cell force, and then slowing down the potential signs of aging. They show this fantastic illustration where the two ingredients together almost create this barrier on the skin where any kind of nasties just sort of bounce off aren't penetrated deeper into the skin, so pollutions, bacterias, it almost creates this barrier defence. So those are the two ingredients on top of the already extremely innovative and very scientific serum. I hope I've explained that properly. I'm in a bit of a frantic panic trying to get out right now, but I find it so fascinating. Everything that Clay de Poe does, I think, is just extremely ahead of the game. So technical, so scientific, extremely inspiring actually. So yeah, so I use a serum, I use the entire radiance range that I always use, the foundation, all the lips, mascara, the blush illuminizer, the beautiful orangey blushy illuminizer for this really, I wanted something quite intense. But then my look is this beautiful black caperni dress and actually I really love this because I wore this dress on the last trip that I went on with Clay de Poe or was it the one before? To Versailles. And I wore it then, I haven't worn it since, and it's so stunning. I absolutely love it. It's so chic and fitted and beautiful. And so I thought it'd be really nice to kind of wear it again for another Clay de Poe moment. Going on with the white silk heels, those perfect black heels, but I'm wearing it with my gold ball grey bag, which is here on the floor for some odd reason. I don't think I'm gonna go with earrings. Should I put in some earrings? Maybe I should put in some earrings. I either have these beautiful Oscar de la Rentas, which could be gorgeous, or I have Susie's new Aurelia earrings, which again could be kind of cool. Okay, genuinely tough decision. I think they both would have looked absolutely amazing. I feel he's a little bit smaller because the dress is already quite a lot, so let's go out to dinner. We've made it to the dock for the boat. We're heading across the water from Cannes to a surprise destination to have dinner. So we're about to all embark on a... Wow! It's like, a, it's like a catamaran boat. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Angel. <laughs> we are literally just pulling into the dock now and the place that we are having dinner is like something out here. So beautiful we're just walking to dinner and it is a quite a vicarious walk but beautiful we're there we're there Hello, hi bonsoir i'm okay thank you everyone's trying to find their name on this table this is literally like my wedding table like it was about this long as well actually my wedding table in front of the chateau oh sensational oh, I'm here. second course is lean fish fillet lean with a spelt risotto with fennel and seasonal vegetables this looks really gorgeous this is the most vegetables i've eaten in like two weeks <laughs> today strangely i'm going home today it's been like 10 or 11 days of um three different amazing back-to-back -back trips and i can't wait to see my husband and my baby 
my baby Bobo. Can't wait to see them. I'm so excited. But oh wow, what a few weeks I've had. Unbelievable. Last night was absolutely sensational. That beautiful like wedding table in the middle of the chateau. What a location. It was really out of this world. Amazing food. Me and Amelia had a wonderful chat. It was just really great vibes. And then we got a car home um, and got to bed. And then me and Amelia have been to the gym already this morning. And now we're going to meet for some breakfast before we head off. So it has been so amazing. Like, I feel so grateful that even after 12 years of doing this job, I still am invited to these really astounding trips. That doesn't pass me by. I love doing what I get to do. And I'm so thankful to do it. But yeah, this has been a really amazing trip with Clay Poe. I've loved every moment of it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I don't know if you've seen the one before, the yacht trip, but that was so much fun. So make sure you watch both if you haven't seen them already. But yeah, can't wait to get home to my babies. I'll see you soon guys. Thank you so much for watching and love you lots.